knot on our bell rope, foot rope knot. It is a bit tricky the first time you try this. You, you may need to practice it one or two times, but once you've cracked it, you'll wonder what all the fuss was about. So, let's have a look at it. There's my faithful rubber band again to hold things together. I'm holding the bell rope upside down to get started. And I'm going to tie a crown knot. That's just passing one lead over the lead next to it. And I'm doing this in a clockwise direction. You could do it in an anti-clockwise direction. But you need to remember which way you started this knot because it helps later on when we get to tighten things up. So a clockwise crown knot with the bell rope upside down. I'm going to turn the whole thing over and tie another crown knot. And again, I've got to tie this in a clockwise direction. Spread the leads out so that we can see what we're doing. Another crown knot, clockwise direction. And very shortly I'm going to switch to another video where I've used stiffer cord. Stiffer cord isn't always easy to work with when you're making bell ropes, but the cord I've used for demonstration purposes is sufficiently stiff to hold the structure together so it's easy to demonstrate and see what I'm doing. So we've tied our two crown knots and we should have something like this, or hopefully exactly like this. Now each lead at the bottom I'm going to pass through a loop at the top, but you can see the loop just above this cord that I'm pointing at now. We're not going to go through that one, we're going to skip over another lead first and put it through the next loop. You need to study the video carefully here just to make sure that you're putting it through the right loop. And of course once you've fed one through the rest are easier because we just take each lead in turn and find the next loop in turn. There's the next available loop. It's got to be fed through there. Now the third one through the next loop and one lead and one loop left. Here's our lead and here's the remaining loop at the top. We now have four leads coming up through the middle and you should find that these leads will quite nicely fall against adjacent leads as shown in the video. And the leads that we're going to be working with make sure they're towards the centre of the knot as shown. And each of those leads we're going to follow that adjacent lead downwards and we're going to go under two. Now we've gone under one there, we want to go under two. There's the second one when we get to the bottom we'll find that that lead now lies underneath another lead. So we've got to do that with all four. Follow the lead it's lying next to, go under two to the bottom. One, two, and again at the bottom you'll find it's laid underneath another lead which we'll follow round shortly. And the third one, let's follow the lead through and under two, like so. Make sure that lead at the top is at the centre of the knot. And the final lead, follow the one next to it, go under two to the bottom. 
I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit, try to keep it even. And now what we've got to do is again follow the adjacent lead. Where that goes under something we'll go under, when it goes over we'll go over and let's just tighten that up a little bit. So we've got to follow that lead through and when we get to the top we've got to push it up through the middle. Let's go back to our main bell rope now and we've got to take the leads from the top, follow the adjacent lead under two and down to the bottom as we saw with the stiffer cord that I demonstrated with. And at the bottom, yes, it's laid under an adjacent lead. Now this video does go on a bit, but it's quite a tricky knot, so it, it doesn't do any harm to look at things more than once. So follow that, that lead down under two. Like so. third lead, follow the adjacent lead down and under two again. I've got to use my pliers this time to make that hole a bit bigger. It can take a bit of practice knowing just how much to tighten a knot up while you're working on it. You want to try and keep the structure together but you don't want to make it so tight that you can't actually finish the knot off. And something else that needs practice as well is getting used to how much cord you will need because there's nothing worse than getting right near the end of the knot, the end of the bell rope, and finding that you've run out. So be quite liberal to start with until you get used to how much cord you need. There we go, four leads all through the bottom. And what we've got to do now is our four leads, we've got to follow adjacent leads again, follow them upwards this time, and where the adjacent lead goes under something, we'll go under. When it goes over something, we'll go over. We're just following the lead round. And when we get to the top, we just got to pull it up through the middle. One down, three to go. Here's the next one, follow the lead next to it. And it started underneath, so keep it underneath, like that. Round to the top, and when we reach the top, up through the middle. Proving a tricky one, this one. Gotcha. And the third one. Follow the lead. And at the top, up through the middle. There we go, we've, we've done all the hard work now. All we need to do is tighten that up. When we tighten this up, we want to make sure that we're tightening the right things up. We don't want to start pulling on these leads that led up to the knot. And this is where we need to remember which way we tied the knot in the first place. We don't want to stretch those underneath. Now, when you look at this knot, you'll see a number of loops in the middle. 
Now I've started tightening there, I will point out these loops in a second. And we started tying our crown knots clockwise, didn't we? Now if we look at the side of the knot here, there are four loops in the middle. You see the one I'm pulling at now? I'm pulling that anti-clockwise. And there's another loop, pull that anti-clockwise, i.e. the opposite way to the way we tied our crown knots to start with. And there are four of those loops. You need to look at the video carefully to see which ones I mean. And now we just pull our leads through and you'll find this quite easy once you've got used to this knot. Uh, to start with you will need to look carefully to see where the leads actually go. And the rule as always is to tighten a little bit at a time, don't rush it. There's that inner loop again, pull that anti-clockwise. Tie it bit at a time, one lead at a time and slowly, slowly your knot will come together and it will stay even then. And there we go, we've got our knot, our foot rope knot to finish the bell rope with. We might think of tightening that up a bit more. Those leads that stick out at the end, you could pick them apart, dip them in boiling water and comb them with a metal comb to make a tassel. But I actually prefer to cut those ends off and I'm cutting them as close as I can to the last knot without cutting the knot because we don't want to ruin that now do we? And the four leads that I've just cut I can poke back down through the middle. I'm using my pliers. You could use a blunt instrument, instrument that would probably work better. And when you've pushed them down in the middle you can squeeze the ends with your pliers like this and hide those. And there we go. There's our finished article. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Good luck.